Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, y'all, and thank you for coming to the channel. And, of course, we're still talking about Ime Yudoko and him... Messing around with what's her name? No, what is y'all name? Hold up, let's go back. Her name is Kathleen Nemo Lynch. Now I don't know if this is the right woman, but it seems like a lot of bloggers have been putting this woman up there as the corporate woman that he was messing with and having her book his flights and his fiance's flight. But that's the man which is her husband who turned her in. Okay. Turned her in as the person Yudoko was messing with or having a sexual affair with. Now they clocked his behind, okay? They put him on the sidelines for a year and he may be looking at losing his job altogether. They just didn't want to tell us all at one time, you know. But I'm like, did she lose her job? Surely, I hopefully she did. Because you can't blame the one without the other. It was not no rape thing going on. It wasn't no, he forced me to do it. Uh, none of that. So, did she get fired as well? And then, the case could be solved and go on about their business. But you can't come over here and fault the African man slash black man. And not get the white woman slash Caucasian. Okay? You can't do it. It got to match. It really has got to match. But some people said that it was this other lady. I hope the picture come around. They were saying it wasn't her. But it could have been this other woman who's a black woman. But I think it her right there. It could have been her. Maybe her name is Kathleen Nemo Lynch. But then she would be married to a black man. I mean, a white man. So, what y'all think? Who is this lady, y'all? Is she Kathleen? And, you know, I ain't trying to be politically correct, but most black women are not named Kathleen. They named Kathy, or a small amount of people may have named their child Kathleen. But Kathleen pretty much is like a white person's name. It really is. It's a white person. I ain't met too many. I, I only Kathy I knew. But her name was spelled K-A-T-Y. It was Kathy. It was an abbreviation for Kathleen. So, that may be my flaw for looking at it from that stance that that's a white folks name. But I'm pretty sure I would have some people on my side to be in agreement with that. But, another, another here nor there. If... I'm just trying to figure out, just because Yudoko got messed up, had to be sidelined for a year, did she get sidelined for a year? Did she lose her job? Because we need to tap both of their hands. Because both of their behinds within their list of affair. Because both of them were taken. Kathleen was married, okay? Full-blown marriage, two kids, three kids, and a dog. I don't know. And Yudoko was engaged to be married, but he was playing house like he was already married. So... We can't be doing one and not the other. That's all I'm saying. But the shade room brought that to our attention. Okay. Now, we go and see what we're going to read. As far as what the shade room wrote. Uh, Alicia, Alicia. Let me see. Alicia Letman wrote the article for the shade room. She titled it. Nia's long fiance work mistress revealed to be married Mormon mother of three Kathleen Nemo Lynch. That's your Mormon. Man, we don't care if she's a Baptist or uh, um, a Methodist, Catholic. We don't give a shit about her religion. We give a shit about why she did what she did and who started the affair. That's what we care about. Religion ain't got nothing to do with it. But the shade room brought it on home, honey. They went and got her full profile. 
what kind of blood she got, what hospital she went to. Nah, I'm just kidding, joking about that. But, you know, they went so far in to get to find out what religion she was in. And that's a pretty big, it's kind of like, Mormons are kind of like Amish people. You know, they to the sales. They don't dress all flamboyant or anything like that. You know, eye-catching. They're real normal, school-looking, school homely-looking you know, just a motherly figure, but not with the extra pizzazz like most mothers are now, okay? Because they got the body, they still going to show it. They're going to be clothed up. They ain't going to be all looking out here in trash and shit. But they're going to be showing their physique. And it's, it's, it's okay with it, as long as it's covered in certain places, okay? But anyway, going back to that. He said, the woman, Amy Udoko is accused of cheating on, is um, near along with at work. Leading to his season-long suspension is now reportedly confirmed by inside sources. In a Daily Mail report, Yudoko's mystery mistress is identified as a 34-year-old Kathleen Nemo Lynch. Mm-hmm. Not her, they saying. But I don't know, because her, her name is close to it as well. But her, now she looked like a mother, housewife, you know, simple ABC type. No, nothing mystery. Not Nothing mysterious about her. Or hinting until she starts looking like that. This is where she transformed herself. I'm like, was she a Mormon then? Was she a Mormon? Okay. But anyway. Uh, it says. The outlet reports that Lynch is a devout Mormon. Okay. She is also a married mother. Of three who serves as the Celtics teen service manager. Now see, that's what I'm saying. All this shit is in the bed. They're all in the bed with each other. Because you got the husband working for the Celtics. You got the wife working for the Celtics that cheated on him with Yudoko. And you got Yudoko working for the Celtics. The only person who should be blameless out of here is the um, Kathleen's husband. Because he found out through some mysterious ways. He overheard a phone call, conversation she was having with Yudoko at the time. And um, he's the only blameless person out of here, I guess you could say. But we don't know if he was just taking work to the next level but not paying her no attention. That's why she found herself to uh, mess with a, another man that was taken. He wasn't married, nope, but he was practicing and living like he was. So, uh, so an infraction was made right then and there. But yeah, that's supposed to be her girl. Um, guys and girls, that's supposed to be her. But anyway, um, the Celtics never confirmed that Lynch was a woman named in their internal investigation. Although her name was reportedly leaked online shortly after Udoko's suspension was announced. Daily Mail reports that Lynch's job duties included arranging travel, lodging, and game tickets for the Celtics family members at home and on the road. She also liked arranged travel for Udoko's fiance, actress Nia Long, when she and her children moved to Boston last month. And a sidebar, I just heard, I don't know if it's true. She's trying to get that ego second chance. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. And I think it was a lady, um, what was her name? L uh, what's her name? Lay She's a YouTuber. Layla. The Layla show, I think. I, I had to come back with that information, but she's a good blogger as well. Been in the game for a long, long time and has a very nice platform of followers or, or fans or however y'all want to call y'all self. Well, I, I call my family. My family members are over here, you know, holding me down. The little that I got, but I know I will grow. So it's just, you know, it is what it is. We might be small, but we powerful over him. <sighs> so, uh,. I think it's the Alayla Lynn show. But anyway, she did a nice article on this particular uh, subject and other topics of discussion on her platform. So go check her out. Um, but she brought out a lot of information about she's supposed, I mean, Nia is supposedly, allegedly trying to get back with him and trying to smooth things over and all that kind of uh, bullshit. Okay, that's the problem right now. You keep smoothing stuff over and they keep, still keep infracturing you. Whether you the one cheated on, whether you the male or female in this relationship, it doesn't really matter. But we cannot keep forgiving bad behavior. And she's been engaged with this man 12 plus years. You would think she would have wanted to put a ring on it and solidify the whole thing. But see, she know how this brother get down. 
So that's all I got to say. But moving back on to the story, it said on September 22nd, the Boston Celtics issued a news release revealing that head coach Udoko would be suspended for the entire 22-23 NBA season after his cheating scandal with the female staff member was brought to light. The franchise stated that Udoko violated team policies. Well, you know what? She had to do, do um, she had to violate some uh, policies too. Cause I'm sure in her title, you don't supposed to be fraternizing with anybody on the job either, especially not with a sexually uh, related relationship. So, I think he need to be rescinded. If he his his suspension need to be rescinded. If she ain't got punished for messing with him too, cause he couldn't do it by himself, and it was no force relationship okay it mean both parties was agreeing to be in this situation that they were in that's all i got to say you're gonna punish one you're gonna punish the other hell everybody get a punishment around him okay just because anyway going back to the article it says shortly after you don't go is an apology for his actions um everything is supposed to be like smoothed over but can you really smooth over infidelity can you really do that y'all you might forgive them you might get into the sink of getting used to him again, but you'll never forget. And when you can't totally forget a situation like it happened, but I'm dealing with it, I'm okay. That's still harboring in, ill will towards that person. You know what I'm saying? So you might always just let them go. Let them go. So you can be with somebody else and you could be free and they could be free. Because huh, you get nobody can get over cheating. I don't care if it's the man saying or it's the woman saying. You never can. You'll always feel somewhat slightly insecure with that person. So, my thing is, just give it up. Just give it up. Just give it up. Just give it up. Because when you do finally want to give it up because you don't have enough, we ain't going to hear about it. We had told you five, six, eighteen times years ago to leave that person alone. That you just figuring it out. Because you have really opened up your eyes and saw what was what. Okay? But for the people that can get it real good, quick, fast, and hurry to get out of relationships like that, blessing. It's just a blessing. And you really were in tune to your well-being. But some of us have to go through the whole marriage. The death through us part. And, you know, we be talking about the person behind their back. Or pay up, talking about them in front of their face. If you that bold. But, you know, we got some bold women out there. We got some bold men. But if you can handle it to the fruit on you. Get it going. Got it good. But people are like myself. Nah, I can't do it. <laughs> I could, and I couldn't do it. All right. I just couldn't do it. You know, I, I played with it here and there. Thinking I'm going to forget. Now I'm like, if he, you know, screwing on me, is he really thinking about her and this, that, and the third? Uh-uh. Can't do it. Won't do it. And I, I didn't do it. Okay. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. If you like it, love it. Got to have more. You know, subscribe. Like my videos. Share my videos out if you care. Uh, but yeah, when you come through the house, it's a, it's a must. We must subscribe and we must share, okay? Because we family. You do we do things like that for family, okay? And I'll see you next video. Bye bye.